In this video, you'll see me test out some very interesting football products and some you probably didn't even realize existed. With the Women's World Cup currently in progress, a football that has been made just for women was something that I just had to try and see how different it really is. The knuckle is insane, honestly. But first, I saw these, let's just say, very different goalie gloves, and I had to get my hands on a pair. Now, I tried looking everywhere for these, but couldn't seem to find them. This article says that Sondico made them only to be used for a penalty shootout, but I can't find any footage of them actually being used. So, obviously, I had to make a pair myself and see what they would really be like to use. Right, so in here, those Ali Al Habsi goalkeeper mitters, I had them specially made. We're going to test them out and see if they actually make any difference. Let's go. Mate, these feel so weird. I'm not sure what difference this is gonna make, for better or for worse, but let's find out. I do feel like I'm dropping it more than I would, but... Oh. All right, let's have some proper shots and see how they do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you know what? These really aren't that bad. So, quick review, I think overall these must have been made for a joke, but I wanted to make my own pair just in case they turned out to be unreal. But realistically, when shot stopping, there's not much difference at all. If I were you, I'd stick to normal gloves. Now, I was on Amazon the other day and saw these boots for around £25. They looked interesting, so I thought I'd buy a pair and test them out. Now in person they definitely looked a bit cheaper and a lot bulkier, but nevertheless I put them on feet and decided to have a kick about. Honestly, for £25 I was fairly impressed with these boots. Right, so let's be real for a sec. Obviously these boots aren't amazing, I mean they're £24 so they're only going to be so good. They're pretty bulky, they look a bit cheap to be honest, but for 24 quid. You can't really complain, I'd happily play a game in these. Now, before we test out a football that has been made especially for women, as the World Cup is currently on, I wanted to test out the new World Cup ball for comparison. So I got my hands on one, and first things first, it looks unreal. Honestly, this is one of the coolest looking footballs I've seen in recent years, and to play with, it's fantastic. But I'll tell you now, it feels a lot different to play with when comparing it to this next ball I'm gonna test out, and maybe this ball could be the future for women's football. Now this next product is basically the whole reason for this video. I saw some stuff about it a little while back and knew I had to get my hands on this football to see what it's all about. And let's just say it was a very interesting football. I had to buy it from Denmark so it took a while to come. First things first, let's get it unboxed and see if you can tell what's different about it. Boom. Here it is. Now we can finally test it. So just from looking at it, you'd probably think it was a normal football, but you'd be wrong. Right, so let me tell you what makes this football so different. So, this is a football made especially for the women's game. It's called the Select Atlanta DB, named after the 1996 Atlanta Olympic Games, where women's football was first recognised as an official Olympic sport. But apart from the story behind it, there's also a lot of physical differences the ball has too. And these are what I'm interested in testing out. And the little teaser, this ball knuckles like crazy. The knuckle is insane, honestly. So probably the most important difference about this ball is its weight. It's got a reduced weight making it much lighter and it's actually the lowest weight a ball can be by official FIFA standards. Another difference that this ball has to a standard football is that it's got extra padding which is actually really noticeable. It's a bit softer to kick and makes controlling the ball slightly easier. So those are just a few of the differences but more will become apparent as we test it. First off the best place to start with this ball is obviously the weight test. First off, I weighed a standard football and they average around 435 grams. Then I weighed the women's football and it weighed in at 423 grams, which is only 12 grams lighter. And that actually surprised me to see this because when I actually use it, it feels so much lighter. Official FIFA guidelines state that a ball can be as low as 410 grams and as high as 450 grams. So in theory, this ball could be even lighter, which after using this ball, I think a ball any lighter would just be way too much. This ball does have another trick up its sleeve to reduce weight. It's got special thermal bonding, all the panels together Together, making it less likely to hold water and therefore keep the weight down as much as possible. But this does lead us nicely to the bounce test. And as you can see, it was very close. But interestingly, the standard heavier ball bounced ever so slightly higher. Interesting. Right, now I need to see if this ball makes a difference when it comes to dribbling.
I actually think that was a bit easier with the normal football, just because the weight of it made it a little bit easier to control. <laughs> Right, so next up we've got the kick distance test. Because this ball's a bit lighter, I'm expecting it to go further, I think. Or maybe less, maybe not as far, I'm not sure. We're about to find out. Right, normal ball up first. That was a good strike. It's down there. That felt a lot lighter to kick. Let's see the results. Oh, it's gone way further. All right, this is interesting actually. So it shows the ball does work and actually is easier to kick a further distance. This is, this is the normal football. And over there is the women's football. So I did this test a few more times just to make sure. And every time the women's ball traveled about 30 yards further and just kicking this ball felt a lot easier. This shot really shows the difference in distance. This is the normal ball. And then when I kicked the women's ball, it didn't even stay in the shot. Literally every time the women's ball just goes far further. Next up, we have the freestyle and skills test. Because this ball's lighter and more padded than a standard football, I'm guessing that'll make it easier to freestyle. First test, I'm gonna see how many hop the worlds I can do. And I'm guessing that the women's ball will allow me to do more. So I managed to do 12 hop the worlds with a normal football. Let's see how the women's ball does. So yeah, no difference on that one really. But for freestyle in general, while the lighter weight and extra padding helped in some ways, in other ways it also made it a bit more difficult as it seemed a bit too bouncy and light to control. Now it's time for the big test with this ball, shooting. First up, I'm just gonna hit some strikes with this ball and see what it feels like to kick. to knuckle a lot whoa it definitely feels a lot softer to kick like a lot softer this ball knuckles like mad obviously I expected this ball to be a bit lighter but it's crazy just how light it feels when you're kicking it you just feel like you can kick it with such with so much more power, it's weird. The first thing I noticed with this ball is that it seemed to knuckle loads. I'm not sure why this is exactly, maybe because it's the lightweight, that's my only guess. The knuckle is insane, honestly. It knuckles or just absolutely flies through the air way over the bar. The best way to describe shooting with this ball is like kicking a volleyball. Now I wanted to make sure that I wasn't just having a good day when it came to knuckle balls. So I came back the next day to try it out again and still the knuckle balls were coming thick and fast. If this ball was used in a professional tournament, I can imagine there'll be a lot of controversy similar to the Jabular as it feels noticeably different to a normal football. Right, for this shot, I'm not going to hit the ball very hard. I'm going to see how it travels. See the knuckle on that? Hardly put anything on that. I decided to move my shooting position further back because I just kept hitting it over the bar. Oh my god. Yeah, that ball still knuckles and flies like crazy. To finish off the shooting test, I also wanted to try some curve and see if that was affected at all. I hit some shots back to back with a standard ball and honestly, I couldn't really tell any difference. Now, my final thoughts on this football. It was really fun to play with, but do I think that it should replace normal footballs for the women's game? My answer, probably not. Although it's definitely easier to kick and there might be a few better goals, I don't think there's currently any complaints from women players about the footballs. Maybe I'm wrong and I just haven't seen it. I'd say that it might be useful for a younger age group, but then again, isn't that what size three and four footballs are made for? Either way, it was a fun product to test out and let me know your thoughts in the comment below.